Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a different video. We are gonna be talking about puzzles. Um, my husband and I do have a selection, a collection of puzzles. And I just thought it'd be fun to like, just kind of show you guys what kind of puzzles we have, what kind of puzzles we like. And yeah, go from there. So this is our puzzle cabinet. If you have ever seen it in any of my like vlogs, or maybe in the background of some of my videos, this is our puzzle cabinet. I actually got this cabinet from the thrift store. Um, so that's why it's kind of beat up here, but I really like it and I don't want to refinish it. I think it's great the way it is. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, so inside, as you can see, is our selection of puzzles. So let's get into it. So the first one I will talk about is this one that I showed you. Um, this is a really fun one and I would say probably 70% of our puzzles come from the thrift store. So there's always a gamble on pieces. And unfortunately this one was missing two pieces, but this was a really, really fun puzzle to do. Um, if you guys ever find this one, you should pick it up because it's really, really good. We won't be keeping this one just because it is missing a couple of pieces, but if I do ever find this one in the store, I'll probably grab it and try again. So yeah, I do like the different, like it's almost like a bunch of mini puzzles in one. And I found that really convenient to do when you were doing a puzzle with somebody because like um, we, we had this on the table and my husband worked on these six pieces and I worked on these six pieces just because they were on our sides and it kind of worked out really well, so. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really like this puzzle. So at the bottom, I have the bigger, like the physically bigger ones. Um, this one was a gift from a friend. She gave this to me for a Christmas present, I believe. And surprisingly, this is a super hard puzzle, like so hard. And it doesn't seem like it should be, but it was really, really hard. But um, yeah, I really like the design of this. I wish I could like illustrate this way. This would be something that like I would aim to be an illustrator like this. I like it. It's very beautiful, but super, super hard. This puzzle we have actually done a few times because we enjoy it a lot. Um, it is the Marvel superheroes, but it is not in the like modern Marvel Cinematic Universe style. It's more in the comic book style and it's really been cool because every time we do this puzzle I feel like we like pick up on a little bit more of some of the characters that we aren't familiar with and we learn a little bit more and we try to pick out like characters we do know from the MCU, try to find them in here because they're not always designed the same from the comics to the movies. So uh, we really like this puzzle and we will likely do it again in future. That is something we like to, we really like to um, do a puzzle that we've already done. Like it doesn't have to be like a brand new puzzle every time. So um, yeah, we like doing puzzles multiple times. This one, actually, I'll share these at the same time. These are a couple Ravensburger puzzles that I found at the thrift store. Um, and I took a chance and luckily they all had all the pieces. So. Um, I was thrilled about that. Um, both of them have the similar vibe where there's like a cluster of things but on like a bookshelf. So this is a cluster of like um, world monuments kind of thing. And this one is a bookshelf of like circusy things. Uh, and both of these were really fun. This is one that I got because it has those beachy vibes and I just love the ocean. So this is a year graphics puzzle and yeah, it was fun. I liked it. This one I actually got from Book Outlet. This is a movie visual puns. So we did this puzzle and it's not a very pretty looking puzzle, but if you are a movie person, it is a fun puzzle because um, like here, I don't know if you can see, but if you can't, I'll insert a closer clip. Um, their movie puns. So for this one, it would be The Lion King. A lot of these I didn't know. My husband knew more than I did. I think this one might have been Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Um, 
you know, just things like that. I won't spoil all of it for you in case you want to uh, get this puzzle and do it yourself, but it is a good one for movie people. This one, we, my husband and I both really enjoy Downton Abbey. I have personally seen it probably like two or three times now all the way through, and I love the show. So when I saw this puzzle at the thrift store, I had to grab it, and it was good. Um, we don't typically like photo uh, puzzles, don't like puzzling a photo, but because this one just kind of like, you know, it was related to something that we both enjoy, um, it was, I wouldn't say it was the most fun puzzle ever, but it was enjoyable for that reason. This is just an old one from my husband's stash from when he was a kid. Um, I think we have done this one before together. Speaking of childhood puzzles, um, I found this one at the thrift store and this was definitely a puzzle that I had done as a kid. Oh, I loved this puzzle. I remember doing it so many times. So when I saw it at the thrift store, I had to grab it. This is a 2000 piece puzzle. This was our very first 2000 piece puzzle that we ever did and we have done it twice since then. And we really like this one. It's It's got a lot going on. Um, it is a lot of similar color, which usually turns us off, but for whatever reason, this one works for us. Next up is this bundle of four 1000 piece puzzles, and we have done all four, and these are something that are really up our alley, so we like this style of puzzle. And lastly, for the big ones, this is a Christmas puzzle, another 2000 piece. We love the Buffalo brand puzzles. That is one of, probably one of our favorite brand puzzles. Um, I would say maybe our favorite brand of puzzle. Uh, anyway, we've done this one I think twice, only do it around Christmas time, of course. Um, yeah, and it's it's fun. It's, it's Christmassy, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> this one, I believe, I also got from Book Outlet. This is a flow puzzle. I got this one a couple of years ago, and it's a lot of fun. I love this illustration style, just like as an artist. Um, it doesn't translate as well for puzzling, but I do love it. It's kind of like that plant one where the illustration is so beautiful, but as a puzzle, something doesn't quite work as well. This one was a lot of fun though. Next up, found a Thomas Kincaid. This is the Cinderella Disney puzzle. Honestly, I'm trying to remember if we even did this one and I don't think we did. I think I bought it more as like a collectible because it is Disney Thomas Kincaid and stuff, but it's very overwhelmingly blue and very much the same tone of blue. And that does not look like a fun time. And my, my husband and I puzzle for fun, not for the challenge. So um, I don't believe we have actually done this puzzle and I don't know if we ever will, but it's in the collection. This was our first bits and pieces puzzle. Um, again, this very illustrative cluster scene vibe is right up our alley so um yeah not much more i can say about this it was fun if you don't know me i love where's waldo my husband bought me like a where's waldo book for my birthday one time and i loved it um so this is a where's waldo puzzle and it was actually a lot of fun to do it's not as hard as it looks because you do probably i would assume most people approach it per building like you just get the signage up and then you like build out from there. And it's not actually as hard as it might look at first, but we did like this one. This one is one of our lesser favorites. This is a you know, drive-in movie theater from Mega Puzzles. Um, I just think the design is very, it lacks color and I don't know. We have done this one. We've done all of the ones here in this puzzle cabinet, but. Uh, it's not one of our super favorites, but it was it was good. We we just enjoy the process of puzzling with each other. You know what I mean? There are a few Star Wars puzzles. Maybe I'll pull them both out. So these two Star Wars puzzles we have done, and um, I enjoyed this one a lot more than this one. I'm not really sure why. I think because of the lightsabers, it gave a lot of interest for puzzling, like you knew everything that was like blue toned was around this lightsaber and everything that was red toned was around this lightsaber. I don't know, but 
we both really like Star Wars. I've only recently become a Star Wars fan. Um, you can thank Mandalorian for that. I did want to mention this puzzle. This is of Yoda. There's a bigger uh, image of him there. This one was one of the first puzzles that we ever did together and we found it really, really difficult. So, need a drink. Anyway, we were midway through puzzling this one and I remember we were both like, I don't wanna ever do this one again. Like we wanted to bail on it so bad, but we just loved it so much. So what we did, we did end up finishing it. We glued it together and now it's in our Star Wars collection of Star Wars things in our computer room. Um, so yeah, that's actually where this box sits as well on our Star Wars shelf. And it looks amazing because our one wall is black. It's a, it's a long story. I can tell you about it sometime if you wanna know, but um, yeah, this is part of our Star Wars collection. A lot of these, like the style of puzzle here, you can see the 1000, this like blue thing here. They aren't all Buffalo. Some of them are the Sherlock's brand, but these probably came from Walmart before the pandemic uh, shot up the puzzle prices. This is Cartoon World. This is a really, really fun puzzle. Um, there's a lot going on, there's a lot of different colors, and it's a lot of fun, so. Next up, I'm a sucker for any kind of beach scene. So there's this one, there's lots of flags, colors. It's just a beautiful scene and we like it. This Charles Wysocki, he's a really good artist for us. We really like his style. There's this one, I mean, it's ocean, tropical, I am sold. So I did buy this one <laughs> mostly because I liked it. But um, this one was a little bit difficult, I remember. But this one also has eight hidden images, which is the first puzzle other than like the Waldo one, I guess, that had ever had like a, an added element to it, like a, a hidden images thing. So this is, this is a good one. I like the scene. We probably would only keep the puzzles that we um, have a tendency to pull out a second time or a third time um, because we want to have puzzles that we actually do other than I guess that Cinderella Disney one anyway we got another ocean scene I'm here for it woo woo not much else I can say it's a beauty this one is it is one of those hometown collections but this one I think worked a lot better than that drive-in movie theater one tons of colors love it love it really great we do um like the 1000 piece puzzles probably the best because it fits on our dining table really great for enough space to like lay out the pieces but also there's a little space at the edge of the table where we can still like eat <laughs> while while the puzzle is going on so um this one uh this is not a favorite i think when we did this one we were both like mm, it was good just not a favorite um, but again, it is that Sherlock's and I don't remember if we like the Sherlock's. I can't remember. This one we got from a friend um, during a difficult time when my husband was in the hospital because she thought it would be something he could do <laughs> on the hospital tray, um, which was really, really sweet of her. This is weirdly one of my favorites. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. The illustrations are sort of goofy, but... It's a fun puzzle. That's all I can say. It's fun. So I guess this one's a mega puzzles. But anyway, I really like this one. This one was also a gift. This one um, was a little bit more difficult just because of the very dark saturated colors. There's not a lot of variation other than the umbrella area, but it is very, very beautiful. So I really like this one. This was something kind of out of the box for me. Other than those bookshelf puzzles, I'm not hugely a fan of like a puzzle of a collection of one thing. Um, I guess those bookshelf ones aren't really like that. Whereas this one is all a collection of like stamps or whatever these are, postcards or something. It's just like a, a, a collection of one thing. 
and those are not my favorite. Um, and I will say that doing this puzzle, it was not my favorite. But I did like it enough. The reason I did buy it was because I'm a sucker for vintage things, and this is like 100% vintage looking, so of course I had to grab it. This again is one of those weird puzzles that's like, I liked doing this one. I really enjoyed doing this one. It's, it's, I mean, it's, I don't know. There's nothing like unusually special about it or unique about it for whatever reason. This one's a fun one to do. And I think this might be the only empire puzzle we have. Okay, again with these winter slash Christmas puzzles, um, there's this one, which is somewhat difficult because the snow is all very similar. This one, which we do enjoy. Um, the brick building is fun to do. And then this one, which is a little bit more of our style, where it's like a scene, it's very illustrated. There's like, I don't know what you would call it, but again, Charles Wysocki. So it's just his style, his, his way of I don't know, arranging his characters, his subjects, his scene. It's just works so well for puzzling. The last two things I have in the puzzle cabinet is puzzle glue, which like I said, we've only used once. And this mini puzzle, 150 piece. I believe, I feel like I got this in like a Christmas gift. I don't really remember who gave it to me, I apologize. But uh, this is a teeny tiny little puzzle. Let's see if I can show you the size of the piece. Look at that. It's so teeny tiny. There's my fingernail. Like, wow. That is tiny. But they are very thick pieces and they do seem like good quality. And I can't remember if we have actually done this one before. Now, the cabinet is empty. Yes, but we are not done because in summertime I went a little nuts at the thrift stores and I was buying like all the puzzles. Okay, this first one is a Super Mario puzzle. We haven't even done it yet, but this one we paid full in-store price for because um, a guy in a grade older than me in school, kind of like an acquaintance friend, um, he and his family started up a gaming store in our city. So that was really cool and on I don't know if it was opening day or opening weekend or something, I wanted to go out and support him and coincidentally, I had been looking for a Mario puzzle, a 1000 piece Mario puzzle for years and it was very hard because they hadn't been making, they only were making like 500 piece Mario puzzles, um, except for I think there was like a fully red one that was a Mario piece or a Mario puzzle and it was a thousand pieces, but I wasn't interested in an all red puzzle. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, what, this is what I'm looking for. So uh, we haven't done this one yet. And then I found Puzzling Mysteries, Catch a Cat, Catch as Cat Can, a Jigsaw Puzzle Mystery. The only reason I picked this one up, normally it wouldn't appeal to me at all, but I, I've been loving Karen Puzzles here on YouTube. I will leave her channel link down below. This is something that she would do. She loves collecting unique, kind of oddball puzzles from history, like really vintage ones. And this screamed to me as something that she would collect. So I kind of picked it up in honor of her. Um, and we have not done this one yet. This is the segment of the video where we have not done any of these puzzles yet. Similarly, this is also one that kind of made me think of Karen Puzzles. It's not as old, but it is more of a unique style puzzle um, and it's a bit of a game too so I believe there's something about a maze but this the maze is assembled incorrectly in this image so you have to build it so that you can actually get out of the maze I don't know sounds intriguing you guys let me know if you would be interested in puzzle videos doing these two oddball puzzles I think that'd be really fun and also if you haven't checked out Karen puzzles go check her out this one, oops, let's go down. This is our very first um, Ibu puzzle. I found this one at Staples. I don't know if Staples is an international company or if it's a Canadian company, but they don't sell puzzles. <laughs> That's not what they're known for. And there was just an end cap and they just had a few puzzles and I was like, wait, what? There's an Ibu puzzle and it was at the end of 
Christmas last year, I think, so they were on sale. Um, so I grabbed this one up. I've never tried an Eboo puzzle before, but I'm really excited to try this one. It actually just snowed yesterday, so I'm really eager to get to one of these puzzles. It's been a while. We went on a vacation to Cypress Hills. I can leave that video, uh, that vlog video linked in the cards or down below. Um, and my husband loves Coca-Cola. We have a little, it's a very small collection of Coca-Cola products, but he loves Coca-Cola and has his whole life. And so I said, how about you get to pick? 100%, I don't have any say, you pick the puzzle. And so we went to this store that was like loaded with puzzles, like the whole entire upper floor, I'll, I'll put in a picture if I can find it, was all puzzles and it was so crazy but amazing. So it actually took him a long time to go through all the puzzles and find something that he wanted. So he picked this one and yeah, looking forward to doing it. Next up, we had been out of town in spring, I believe. And again, we were at a store that's not known for puzzles, but they had this puzzle. And if you guys don't know my reading lately, I've been loving Alice in Wonderland retellings. Oh, I've just, I've experienced a, a love for Alice in Wonderland. And it's kind of funny because that's always been my older sister's thing. And it's always her. She's the one that loves Alice in Wonderland. She's the one that collects it all. Her wedding was Alice in Wonderland. Like, it, that's her thing. Um, so it's kind of funny that I've just discovered a love for it now. But when I saw this one, um, you know, I had to get it because it's amazing, it's so beautiful. And I can't wait to get to it because like, oh, this illustration, you guys, I love this. I wanna draw like this. Oh, I feel like I'll never get to the, that stage where I'm illustrating as well as I want to be. Here's another one that's very oceany seaside. I have a feeling this one looks like it might be hard, so. Uh, my anticipation for this one's a little lower, but um, it's still very beautiful, so I'm interested to try it. And then I found this one, another Charles Wysocki, but it's a very different style of scene. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see how I like this one, because again, there, it seems like a very yellow tone puzzle. Um, so I guess we'll see, but there seems to be a lot of different things like that you could pick out to work on. So, here's another one. This one's super different. Um, I've never had a puzzle, not very often I will say. Do I have puzzles in this kind of painterly style? It's almost water, it's very watercolory. That's what it must be, watercolor. Um, yeah, I don't have really a lot to say about this one. It looks like it's um, quality blue board. Is that a puzzle company? there's this option too. Again, my excitement for this one's a little lower. I told you guys, I went a little nuts in summer. Okay, this one, again, very different from what we like. Puzzles like this, I'm kind of hard, I'm kind of, it's, it's weird to describe it because it almost looks like an illustrated photo. Like someone took a photo and did a whole bunch of edits to it. And then, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know, because it's not a photo but it's also not an illustration. I don't know, but it was the colors that drew me in. So I guess we'll have to see what we think of a puzzle like that. This one, I thought, what in the world at the thrift store? This is a Disney Parks signature puzzle, which means this puzzle is only sold in Disney Parks. So that means somebody likely, this is likely the story, went to Disneyland or World, bought this puzzle, brought it home from the United States to, back to Canada, did the puzzle maybe, and left it at the thrift store? Wait a second, no, no, no. This puzzle's never been opened, that's right. This puzzle's never been, so they bought it, probably at a really steep price. They bought it in the States, came back to Canada, decided to never do the puzzle and bring it to the thrift store where I got it for a couple bucks. Like what? Uh, so anyway, I had to grab that one. Plus Ellie and Carl are super sweet. And yeah, 
and then it's a two-sided puzzle which is also something we've never done before so kind of looking forward to that finally the last one you guys thanks for sticking it out with me this is um in a tin which i thought was cool right off the bat but um it's a donut party it's euro graphics i don't think i even read that it's a euro graphics puzzle um and it's just a donuts and like like i said i don't really love a cluster of one thing but i think it was the uniqueness of this puzzle like it's in a tin I don't know it kind of intrigued me it's euro graphics which um i don't have very many euro graphics puzzles i think only like two other ones um so i guess we'll see maybe the colors will sell me enough to do a like a clutter puzzle like this let me know what you guys think i thought that was cool okay those are the puzzles we have the puzzles we've done the puzzles we're looking forward to doing uh let me know in the comments below let me know like are you a puzzler? Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. If you have stuck to the end with me, please put a puzzle piece emoji in the comments and I will give you a big thank you for watching to the end. That really means a lot to me, especially with a video like this that kind of gets out of hand. I know there was a lot here. Thank you for hanging out with me. Yeah, so let me know if you're a puzzler. What kinds of puzzles do you like? Do you have a favorite brand? Do you have a favorite style of image? um yeah let's just chat puzzles i usually say let's chat books but let's chat puzzles in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you in the next video bye